Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. And in today's video, we are going to be paint matching the bumpers off of the Altima SER conversion car. Um, so for those of you guys who know, the original plan with this car was actually to do a budget Rust-Oleum um, color change but after thinking about it for the last month or so i've decided against it for a couple of reasons now one of the reasons is because to be honest i just don't have that much experience uh with using rust oleum i've painted a couple of sets of wheels before like in the past and gotten some pretty decent results but as far as painting a complete car uh, I just feel like I'd like to get a little bit of practice before I take on a project of that size. Now overall the paint on this car when it is clean is in pretty decent condition. Uh, there's a couple of scratches here and there. There's a little bit of clear coat missing somewhere right in this general area right here. But overall... The car is still in really nice condition, which is why I've just decided to paint match the front and rear bumpers. Um, so what I'm going to be using today is going to be some Duplicolor Perfect Match. I've got the KY2 Pewter Metallic here, as you guys can see from Nissan. Now the reason I decided to go this route is just because the whole idea behind this car was to be a budget do-it-yourself uh, SER conversion build. So with keeping in the spirit of DIY, I've decided to go with the Duplicolor Perfect Match. Now, as you can see, I've got a can of Spray Max 2K uh, Glamour High Gloss Clear here, which I'm going to be using over top of the Duplicolor. Now, I only have one can of this stuff. I bought it a while ago for another project I was going to do and never got around to using it. Now, from what I've read online, one can of that stuff is probably going to be a, enough to do one of the bumpers. So I figure I'll use that on the front since it has a hardener in it. It'll probably be good for like stone chips and salt in the winter time uh, to keep it from chipping easily. And then I think what I'll probably end up having to do is throw some regular Rust-Oleum clear coat over the rear bumper just to make it look a little nicer. So we'll be able to do like a side-by-side -side comparison. But what I'm going to do right now is just a little bit of prep work. I'm going to remove the front license plate. We're going to be filling the old license plate mounting holes right here. Then I'm going to have to go ahead and remove the rear mud flaps. As you can see, autofocus killing me once again. Then we're going to go ahead, tape off the headlights, tape off the lower grill section here. And then I'm going to remove the rear tail lights. Now I am going to be doing this with the bumper on the car. Uh, I was going to take the bumpers off and do it. But to be honest, I don't really have a table to sit them. So I decided to just do it on the car, make it a little bit easier on myself and a little bit more DIY friendly for those of you guys who've never removed the bumper before. This is how you're gonna be able to do it without taking the bumpers off. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put the camera down, start working on the prep. Uh, once I get those holes filled right there, we're gonna move the car outside to do the sanding so I don't have to sweep or anything in here, keep the dust to a minimum. And hopefully by the end of today's video, we're gonna have a car that's all one color, which, uh, I'm gonna I'm pretty excited about the black bumpers look all right on this car but I feel like I would enjoy it a lot more if it was all one color so with that being said let's get into it man alrighty so I got the front end all taped up I actually had to use foil tape around the fog lights because for whatever reason the plastic in there that wasn't painted uh, the painters tape just was not sticking to but I got everything taped up enough for me to start sanding. So once I wipe down the bumpers, I'm going to move the car outside. Now you'll notice I just taped around the edges here quickly. Uh, that way, if I go too close to, let's say, this headlight here with the sandpaper, I'm not going to scratch it up or anything like that. And then once we are ready for paint, we're going to go ahead and fully tape off the upper portion of the car front and back and then that way no overspray is going to get let's say on the engine or on the fenders here uh, so once i wipe this down with some wax and grease remover like i say we're going to move it outside 
and start the sanding process. Alrighty, so just pulled the car outside where I am going to start the sanding. Uh, so what I think I'm going to start with is probably some 220 on an orbital sander. This will knock down any of the uh, heavy stuff that we have. I think there's a few, like a scratch right here that needs to be knocked down. Uh, around the back. Right here there's a couple scratches as well as a couple nicks out of the bumper here and it looks like somebody actually drove into me and that's the front bolt from their license plate so i'm going to use the 220 to knock everything down uh, and then once i get finished with that i'll come back with a 400 and do it uh, sanding by hand and uh, then we should be ready to pull this thing back in the garage and drop a couple coats on here so I'm pretty excited, but I know I got to take my time with this, so I'll get back to you guys when I make some progress. Alrighty, so just knocked everything down quickly with the 220 on the orbital sander. Um, this is the rear bumper and, of course, the front bumper. So next up, what I'm going to do is grab some 400 uh, and just get into the areas that I couldn't sand. Like inside here is still bare, hasn't been sanded. Uh, close to the lights and, as well as the fenders. I didn't want to get too close with the orbital sander. So I'm going to hit those with the 400. And the same with the rear. Just areas like this where I couldn't get the orbital sander into. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead do both front and back bumpers completely with 400. Um, wipe it down with some wax and grease remover and then we should be ready to start spraying some primer man so I'm pretty excited about this alrighty so I just got everything fully sanded to the point where I'm pretty happy with the result as you can see very dusty but I got into pretty much every single nook and cranny that I possibly could with the sandpaper including the two little bottom areas here as well as around the grill here. So what I think I'm going to do now is grab the air compressor, blow everything off nice. Now I was going to spray this down with water and get all of the dust off, but I think what I'm going to do is just use the air compressor, spray as much of the dust off as I can, uh, go over it with a wax and grease remover and a tack-free rag, move it into the garage, go change my clothes, wash my hands and everything, come back out, uh, hit it again with the wax and grease remover, and I think that should be pretty good. Uh, and then I can go ahead and start taping up all of the areas that I don't want overspray. I think I'm going to put it on jack stands and remove the wheels as well. So I'm going to go ahead, blow it off, wipe it down, pull it into the garage. Okay, so I've got the car jacked up in the air, took the wheels off both front and back, finished taping up the headlights, a little bit of cardboard on the grill there, uh, taped up the rest of the fender here so no overspray gets on it, and then come around the back, I did the same, got some painter's paper right there, uh, finished up our tape line, and I put a little bit of paper here so that when I'm spraying, we don't get any overspray directly into the trunk. Mufflers are all taped up. So what I'm going to do now is go inside the house. I'm going to put on a clean change of clothes. I'm going to come in here, uh, wet the entire floor down with a hose. That's going to keep any dust from kicking back up and getting into the paint job. And once I do that, we're going to go over this one more time with uh, some wax and grease remover. And we're going to start spraying today. I'm a little excited. I didn't think I was going to get this far today, but we're making good progress. So hopefully we can get everything laid uh, before the end of the day, man. That would be uh, a really good goal, I think. Alrighty, so got some water on the ground. Uh, hit this with the wax and grease remover one more time. I got to say, I don't really have much faith in it. This is my second time using it, and the first time was on my SER wheels, and I was just having a little bit of trouble with contaminants, so I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we don't get that issue today. But now what I'm going to do is hit this with some 
multi-purpose filler here. Uh, this is a filler primer, and what this is going to do is allow me to uh, get all the little cracks that are left over on the bumper filled with this stuff, and then we'll be able to put our paint on over top of that and hopefully get a nice smooth finish. So I'm going to go ahead, put my painter's mask on, put the camera down, and we're going to start painting this bad boy. Alrighty, so we're already not off to a good start. This stuff is absolute garbage. I don't know how people stay in business producing a product like this. I don't know if you can see that. This thing is spitting like crazy. You could probably see right there. See the little droplets everywhere in the paint? Yeah. That's what's happening on the bumper. I've put a full can on the front and the back. And like you can see a droplet right there. You can see a bunch of... Oh, what is this thing doing, man? A bunch of droplets in this general area. One right there. And to top it all off, I barely got one coat of primer on this bumper. So I'm slightly annoyed right now. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. To be honest <sighs> like I don't even have any regular primer to use so I don't know might have to run to the store and get something else to be honest okay so I ended up running back to the store and grabbing some dupla color filler primer uh, this is basically the same stuff except hopefully not shitty uh, so what I'm gonna do is throw on my mask Go ahead, I got two cans of this stuff, so I'm going to dump both cans completely on each bumper, uh, probably one can per bumper, and hopefully, hopefully this stuff is not garbage, because I'm slightly annoyed right now. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so we got about three coats of primer on here, and it's looking relatively good. Uh, no splatters that I can see which is nice around the back everything is looking nice and fresh and the mud flaps are all primed up So I'm gonna go ahead let this dry for about 20 30 minutes And then I think we should be just about ready to throw some paint on this man Alrighty, so primer has dried for about 30 minutes. It's all It's pretty much dry everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is grab my dupla color now the actual color paint I'm gonna go ahead drop one quick coat on there I don't want to go too thick because I don't want to get any runs and uh, Hopefully we can get this looking pretty nice and then if I have to I'll wait until tomorrow to throw on the gloss, but uh, I Can't lie. I'm pretty stoked to get this paint going. So I'm gonna throw on my mask we're going to see what's up, man. Alrighty, so first coat is on both front and back. Now, I was having a little bit of issues. Uh, these cans of the actual color were spitting a little bit too. But to be honest, I am not even mad because this color is looking dope on that SER bumper, man. As you can see, aside from the gloss, it's pretty much dead on move around here to the back now i used a can and a half for the first coat i didn't want to go on too thick just because i wanted it to adhere nice but as you can see that color is looking pretty much dead on so i'm going to let this dry for about 15 minutes come in do a second probably a third coat and then we're going to throw some clear on this bad boy man yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so third coat is on, and I'm really happy with the way that it looks, but I'm going to let everything dry real quick. We're going to come in here, uh, go do a once over, and then see if it needs one more coat. If not, we're going to drop the clear on, but I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty, so it's been about a half an hour. Just went inside, had a bite to eat. Everything is looking really nice. Uh, really dry now if I was gonna go real budget I'd probably just leave it the way it is and then untape everything However, I have the clear coat and I just think it'll be a nice touch to have everything nice and glossy as you can see We've got a nice smooth finish So I'm hoping with the gloss we can keep this uh, kind of you know cleanliness happening here so again i'm gonna go ahead and start out with the front bumper with this glamour high gloss right here 
Uh, what I think I'm going to do is do one coat on the front bumper of this and then one coat on the rear bumper of the Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover. And if I have enough to do um, like another coat on the front bumper and another coat on the rear bumper, so that'll be two coats of clear. I have one coat on the rear bumper of this stuff and two coats of clear on the front bumper of this and then I'll put one on top of the Rust-Oleum but I don't think I'm gonna have enough to get three full coats I'm gonna go ahead put on the activator which is this you just gotta punch the bottom of the can to get the uh, the hardener mixed in there I'm gonna go ahead do that spray up both bumpers with the clear coat and uh, let that dry up and we'll see where we're sitting as far as uh, you know how much we have left after I'm done that alrighty so first coat of clear is on to be honest I'm not getting as much shine out of the 2k clear as I thought I was going to it's got a little bit of a shine but I think I'll probably have to throw on one more coat to get it exactly where I want but from what I can see the rust-oleum is giving me quite a bit more shine to be honest now the one thing with the rust-oleum I think I'm gonna have an issue with is the application I just don't think it's gonna be quite as smooth as the 2k max clear however we have one coat of the rust-oleum on the back and it's looking pretty decent man so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for another 20-30 minutes, come back out, throw on maybe one or two more coats. Maybe we'll be able to get maybe two or three coats out of this can if we're lucky. Alrighty, and that is going to be a wrap for now. I got three coats of the 2K Clear on the front bumper. That was one full can. And I got three whole coats of the 2X Clear, which is the Rust-Oleum. That was also one can. So I'm going to go ahead, let this dry up overnight. I'm going to go inside, have myself a nice shower, a couple of beverages. And uh, when we come out here tomorrow morning, we're going to untape this, throw the wheels back on, and see how she looks, man. I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to lie. And I just wanted to compare the color, and by the looks of it, this paint is almost dead on. Nice little shine, sparkle to it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the mud flaps back on. I ended up throwing a couple coats of clear on the rear taillights just because they were getting a little faded. I didn't use any clear when I uh, nightshaded them. I just wanted them to be a little more gloss. I'm going to go ahead, take the tape and everything off and pull this thing outside and have a look at how the bumpers turned out. Tape is off, grill's on, rear lights are in, wheels are on. car's a little bit dusty from all the sanding and just you know, paint over spray, but I'm going to wait a couple days before I actually give it a good wash. I want this paint to fully cure. I don't want to mess anything up by scratching it, but I am going to pull the car out of the garage now. We're going to do a little walk around on what this thing looks like. Alrighty, car is pulled outside and this is the final result. Now, I'm not going to lie, I do kind of have mixed feelings about uh, just overall how it turned out. The rear bumper, the color looks pretty close. Uh, you can see we're not really getting that much gloss out of this Rust-Oleum 2X Clear, but I knew that was kind of to be expected. I was having trouble getting the whole way across with my, uh, with my coats, but overall, it turned out really nice. Little side profile shot. You can see the color is pretty close minus the uh, the gloss where you can see me in this paint, but you can't see me down there. Uh, now coming around to the front, as you can see, again, the color a little bit more gold on the bumper uh, compared to the actual hood. But one thing I did notice with that uh, 2K Clear is the gloss is not at all what I thought it was going to be. Now one of the reasons I think uh, the gloss didn't go on as good is because I got two full coats 
out of the can and then as I was doing the third coat I was starting to run out so I kind of went over it just quickly I feel like if I had have either stuck with the two coats that were full like coverage no like missed areas or anything like that uh, I feel like it would have probably had a little more gloss or if I had a third can I would have you know probably put on like a third and fourth coat but overall I think it turned out pretty good again the gloss is not what I expected it to be especially coming out of like a $30 2k clear but overall I mean the car is one color right now and I'm kind of liking the way that it looks. Now, one thing I did notice is the white wheels kind of just not going with this uh, KY2 pewter metallic. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to paint the wheels either black or maybe do like a bronze. I don't want to go like gold like my old wheels were, but maybe like an orangey bronze color or black. Let me know down in the comments section which color you guys want to see. But the car, the rest of the car is still really dusty so what i'm gonna do is let this dry for maybe one more day and then give it a full wash and i'm hoping like the paint panels over time will kind of blend in a little bit better but i mean the car is one color aside from the trunk but the whole plan was to keep the black trunk with the black lights i just really like the way that looks But I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I took a lot of little clips, uh, so I'm going to go in and edit it right now. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely don't forget to smash that like button. G35, I mean, just being a G35, not really much going on with this thing. Right now, the daily's been getting a little bit of love trying to make this thing look like... Uh, well, not a piece of junk, man. But I'm thinking this is going to probably be the end of this one. So as always, I am your boy Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace.